Hi guys, welcome to Hampshire Outdoors Survival. Mickey here. Yeah, do excuse the fact that I haven't shaved today. It's my birthday. Woohoo! Anyhow, so this week's video, a couple of items of kit that I would like you to think seriously about putting in your bag. Now, both these items were bought from Timu and they were both bought for under a tenner each. Okay. I'd like you to think about putting them in your bag purely and simply because they're light, they're simple, they're easy to carry, and they could save your life or possibly somebody else's, okay? I want you to have a look at them, see what you think, hit me back, let me know, am I right or am I wrong? And for those of you that are very tactically minded, I want you to also remember this. Even in the military, we would carry air recognition panels. These would be tucked away in the bottom of the pack, and it's something that helps you to indicate a casualty for an exfil or an extraction, or even just to mark your location on the ground, okay? These are brightly colored panels. So yeah, have a watch of the video, see what you think, let me know, have I got it right or have I got it wrong? Hello guys and welcome to Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. So here we are again, we're out on one of our wanders and today we're going to be talking about a bit of kit. Some bits of equipment that really and truthfully if you're getting right out onto the hills and the moors you should be carrying with you. So again, you can pack light, you can go for a little walk like this on a regular basis but the things you want to be carrying with you are like your first aid kit, drop of water, backup shelter, systems that are designed and there for you to be able to carry for when it goes wrong so one of the things we're always talking about in survival isn't about when it's going right it's about what you do how you react what you do when it goes wrong and there are some very simple procedures or pieces of equipment you can carry with you that can be the difference between life and death and these items don't necessarily be need to be expensive so what i've done i've gone out and i've had a quick look around on timu and I've picked up a couple of items that are budget items. Um, one of which was actually labelled with a different name to how I see it. But again, great bit of kit. So I've picked those up, I've brought those out with me today. And we're going to talk about that. So firstly, is your bags, right? Well, that's not a T-Move bag, that's a Euro Hype bag. But you want a reasonable rucksack. Something that's capable of carrying the weight comfortably and easily for you. And again, one of the items that I would always suggest you shop around for, uh, and I prefer to get these from a shop rather than online, because if I go into a shop, I can try them on. They'll pack them out, I can try them on, I can get advice, I can look at it uh, and find what suits me. So again, that's a little Euro hike. Um, that's the Nova 25, 25 litre bag. I use that on a lot of my day hikes. Next thing you always want to be carrying is a drop of water. Now, People always say to me, oh, I ain't carrying water because of the weight and the rest of it. It's not, you're not always carrying it for hydration, okay? Sometimes you need to clean things, sometimes you need to sort yourself out, sometimes you might have an injury, you might put your foot in something, you may put your hand in something, and you need to get that off of you. So, again, by having a drop of water with you, it's going to assist you in those situations. So I've also come across dogs that are suffering in the past, um, where they, they've got dehydrated, where you might be a long way from a water source, or the water source is contaminated, like here at Fleet Ponds, we've got blue-green algae. So again, by having a drop of water with you, it's not just good for you, it's good for others as well. Come to help them. Something else I always throw in my pack is a little bit of munchies. So, a little bag of trail mix. Got some fruits, got some sugar, got some energy. Good afternoon. Um, it's there for you, it's in your bag. So at the end of the day, you don't have to use it, but if you find your blood sugars are dropping, your energy's dropping away, or you suddenly find yourself two hours into your walk, blimey, I'm starving. It gives you a little something just to pick you up. And again, at the end of the day, getting outdoors is about enjoying it. You don't have to make it a nightmare slog. I survived a walk in the woods, you know. Go out because you enjoy it. Make it something you absolutely enjoy. So by having a little bag of trail mix with you, it's a bonus. And again, you may come across somebody else that's struggling, having difficulty, their blood sugars are dropped. You've got something like that, it's an instant pickup. On top of that, you always want to think about your first aid kits. So at the end of the day, small life hack, small personal, personal first aid kit, some simple bandage, a simple plaster, some pain relief, 
simple simple kit that's going to actually help you when things do go wrong and again the practice of survival and preparation for being outdoors is about having that bit of equipment with you on top of that you can go on something like tim timu a simple rain poncho okay so that that again is just a simple lightweight single skin one size fits all it says durable waterproof um rain poncho it's about four pounds they're not expensive comes in a little bag pulls out that's the difference between life and death if you do get caught out on the hills in a situation now around here where i'm walking not too bad i'm never more than 2.5 miles from the car if it's that bad i can slog home get home you say what happens when you find somebody that's broken their leg broken their ankle or unfortunately you go down well a simple shelter like that can be the difference between life and death okay being able to get the wind the rain control somebody's body temperature is a real bonus and for the sake of carrying that small light package in your bag especially in the british isles where weather can be so random shall we say it's a bonus it's a difference between enjoying the walk or not enjoying the walk oh i've just seen a tail getting a visitor hello mate <laughs> little furry friend so again by having a simple poncho with you can make all the world a difference okay on top of that you could also carry one of these now this is quite an interesting article and it's the main article in my my talk today so i've always been an advocate of a poncho i carry military ponchos in fact i'm actually going to put this on in a minute and we will have a look at it i usually carry a military poncho this is a civilian poncho um it's not as thick as a military poncho no way as thick as tall but it's based on the same sort of design and it would be windproof and warm waterproof cheap budget item why do we like ponchos ponchos go over everything poncho can be rigged as a shelter a poncho can be a ground sheet a poncho can be a water collection system 101 uses for a poncho and invariably most ponchos won't just go over you it will fit over your pack as well keeping your pack dry okay so that's why i like a poncho sun's coming out now i thought it was going to rain so the first thing to look at in realistic terms is the poncho so let's have a look so this this is off timu it's only a cheap one okay it's not expensive let's have a look at it as it goes as a poncho easy to put on this one actually has poppers down the side so you do create an armhole system as you see it's got a nice and baggy now this only comes to just above the knees so again, below the knees, you are going to get wet. Um, what do I think of it as a poncho? Well, in comparison to the military-style poncho, yeah, obviously it's not as good. But as a lightweight backup, just to keep your core temperature dry and warm, I like it. Got a small pocket in the front here. It's not substantial, but it's somewhere to keep a few bits and pieces, maybe a mat and so on. It's already keeping the wind off me, so it's as a wind stopper, it's working absolutely superb. Okay, but as uh, as you can see, it would keep the worst of the weather off you. So having that in your walking kit, having that in your your day hike, even on a good day, is going to give you a bonus. It's going to give you that bit of protection. And is it heavy? No, it's, it's super lightweight. It's super lightweight. It's cheap enough, really, to be an item that if you had to, you could possibly bin it. You know, you could you could use this for a season. Um, have it in your kit and replace it every season or relegate it somewhere else or if you're new to ponchos okay try this out and then maybe sort of if you like the idea go to the military style okay so it gives you that option it gives you a tryout but it's a nice lightweight poncho i quite like it like i say it's off team move on to the next item of equipment you should be carrying is one of these okay so if you're doing any serious hiking you're getting up onto the moors or the hills or walks even if it's a day walk this is an item worth throwing in your pack okay so this is quite simply this is marketed as a beach blanket okay and they come in various colors for those of you of the tactical mind you can buy it in green so you can have it in an olive drab if you're of a tactical mind or what I would recommend for your kit, especially if you're going into the more wild areas, get it in the orange, okay? Now, in the orange, 
in the orange it's nice and bright it can be seen from a distance now this is described as on Timu beach blanket waterproof windproof okay now what you get in here for seven pounds is in a nice little sturdy ripstop bag with a clip on it so you can clip it on the outside of your kit you get a, a, a sheet now as you see when you first unrolled it you can see the grey on it inside that there are four generic temp pegs um, reasonably strong they'll do the job for you but there's four of those in there they come in there but the bonus of this excuse me train go past we'll let the train go past and then we'll carry on with the video go past okay so when you roll this out what this gives you is a 200 by 210 centimeter panel okay now this panel can be used for everything as an improvised windbreak cover protective coating this will keep the wind off you keep the rain off you this could be used for covering a casualty, even several casualties, even a small group. It could replace a tarp, so you could carry it as a smaller tarp than your three by three. You could use it to rig a shelter from a tree. You could use it to keep sunlight off. But more importantly, in that bright orange, especially when you're up on the hills, if you were to get lost or you were to get injured, to be able to wrap yourself in something or lay out a marker panel, okay, to indicate where you are makes you very very visible now i know i can hear a lot of you out there going oh but all oh, my tops are camouflage great i've got camouflage tops and i use them more often than not they're bigger they're more durable but having this thrown in your kit for when it goes wrong or if it was to ever go wrong if you had to mark a casualty that is going to be seen orange is used as a, a rescue color purely and simply because it doesn't arrive much in the natural world and it stands out our eyes will pick it out okay so again that for seven pounds having that in your kit is so worthwhile i really recommend it and again it's big enough to improvise a shelter okay if you had to you can taco it okay fold it in half Lay it out on the ground, peg it out on the ground, oh, I'm into it, okay? So you could also taco shelter yourself. Oh, I've got a little friend to come say hello. Hello, guys, how you doing? Yeah, you can come and say hello. Hello. Oh, you're smashers, aren't you? Yes, you are lovely. You are lovely. We'll stop filming there for a second, because you know my rule, dogs come first. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, is that good? Is that good? Oh, that's a smile, isn't it? Yeah, oh, you too. Yes, you're lovely, aren't you? Oh, you're smashing. You are smashing. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you're protecting your mum because you are a big wolf at heart, aren't you? Big, big wolf. Yes, you are. <laughs> Have a lovely walk. <laughs> Back to the filming. So, as you know my rule, if there's dogs about, stop and shout. Be friendly to them. I love my dogs. So, anyhow. Yeah, so that's that one. That's that's in the orange. So, yeah, you don't like the orange. You want to be a bit more tactical. I'm always hearing, yes, Mickey, but I want to be tactical. Like I say, exactly the same panel with the same bag. Do excuse the wind. Let's just chuck a water bottle on that. Okie doke, so exactly the same tarp and it comes in a nice olive drab, okay? And that, that comes in an olive drab like that, so I'm not going to take it out because I have to put it away again, but it's exactly the same size. Now these are quite a reasonable quality ripstop material. I would not say to you that they're going to be as strong as a military style tarpaulin, because they're not. But again, for, for seven pounds as an emergency shelter, you can't really go wrong. Back it up, put it with a bungee. How many options have you got? And again there, not maybe the tidiest, most torch shelter I've ever erected. Would it keep the wind off? 
most definitely. Would it protect me from the rain? Most definitely. Is it big enough for me to get into? I'd say so. Let's give it a try. Yeah, sit inside that. I can sleep across it. I can sleep from one end to the other. Would it give me protection? Yes, it would. Is it bright orange? Hell yeah. Is it going to be seen from a long, long way away? Yep. In an emergency, if I had to shelter down and I'd contacted the mountain rescue or the rescue system, would they notice it? A lot more than they would a green one. So, again, for the size of the pack, for what it is, I suggest that it's well worth carrying in your gear. And if you are being tactical, have this in the bottom of your bag as a backup. Have this as a backup, as an emergency go-to, as your OPU, it's hit the fan. As your, damn, found a casualty up on the hills, need to get him out of the wind, need to get him out of the rain. Like I say, you don't have to necessarily build a shelter, just a taco wrap. Wrapping a casualty in that, it's going to keep the wind off their body. Okay, use a couple of bags to keep material away from their body and create an air pocket that you can trap them in. That is going to be a big help. You could also sit under it, lift it over yourself like you do the mountain rescue shelters. So yeah, cheers Kaz, well spotted, well found. Now, give you some stats on that. So, weighs 11.2 ounces, that's 316 grams in old money. It is a 200 by 210 centimetre panel. It's a ripstop light, ripstop nylon material. It is windproof and it is waterproof, okay? They come in green, orange, and blue, and they've all got that sort of gray panel through them, okay? So, I don't know why that is, can't tell you. And it's advertised on Timu, if you look it up, as waterproof beach blanket ground sheet, okay? Um, when we bought that, it was about £7, and again, a worthwhile item to have. Um, absolutely brilliant. So, what have we done today? We've done a quick wander out here. We've had a quick look at shelters. We've had a quick look at my bag. We've had a quick look at some of the stuff I will carry literally on a daily hike. Day, just a day hike around here. A couple of miles from home. Um, what's, what could go wrong? What could go wrong, eh? Hell of a lot can go wrong. Okay, so 2.5 mile walk around there. If I had to go, if I come down, yeah, put it this way if you come across a casualty, some poor person has gone down, they're on the deck, they're unconscious. I can get them out of the wind, I can get them out of the rain, I can also mark them, make them highly visible. I'm probably not going to leave the casualty until such time as somebody else strolls along, but they're more likely to notice me if I'm off to one side because of that orange sheet. Hey, hey, help, help, I've got somebody down here. Okay, send that person for help or 999, get through to the emergency services. I've already done my what three words. I'm at what three words location, such and such. Look for the bright orange panel, have a casualty, casualty down. A lot easier to find you in an environment like this. Okay, what three words is going to bring them within a couple of meters? Again, if you're on open ground and they send a, a helicopter or something like that to you or you have mountain rescue looking for you you tell them when you call bright orange panel that's what they're going to be looking for makes it a lot easier to see anyhow we're going to go for our walk now we're going to have our walk around the pond do a uh, 2.5 miles today in fact i'm going to do two laps it's five miles today but um yeah sorry this video is a short one sorry it's not in depth sorry it's not me usual exciting outdoor stuff but um yeah i'm in training at the moment so and I also forgot the, the, the little bolt for my tripod. So, yeah, do excuse the wobbly images and the camera not necessarily being its usual wonderful position. Anyhow, let's go for a walk. So, guys, there we go. So that was something I've, I've, I've always had something bright with me. And quite often it was something quite small. But that, for £7 on TMU. 316 grams, small and light enough to go in your kit for an emergency. Something I do think we should all be carrying, we should all think about. I think we have a responsibility when we go out, even for somebody like me that might be walking locally uh, in an environment where 
let's face it, the risks aren't that high. You saw the amount of people around. The possibility is even if somebody went down, I might not even need to pull that out. However, if the conditions were bad, it was wet, it was windy, they might be hypothermic or something like that, or elderly, I've got that. And it helps, and it helps to notify people where I am, even if I hang it in a tree, even if I just wrap them in it. It's a simple thing. Such a simple thing can make so much of a difference. Again, I would like to say a big thank you, a big heartfelt thank you to all those people that take the time to train and volunteer, whether it be mountain rescue, whether it be rescue at sea, whether it be local moorland rescue, all these groups, all these organisations that are worldwide where people will give up their time at, at literally a drop of a hat. They will leave a meal, leave their family, leave work quite often, don't get paid for it, and come out and get you when you're stuck. They will come out and get you when you're injured, when you're damaged, when you're stuck. A big heartfelt thank you to all those people that do that. They're wonderful people. Make their job a little bit easier. Make yourself seen. It is simple as that I, it's such an easy thing and yet we often don't think about it okay for those of you that are tactically minded yes i understand the whole tactical process but as i said before even in the military we would carry marker panels okay so guys have fun stay safe give it a thought let me know what you think join us sunday night for the sunday night social okay we'll be there again this week maybe even throw it up in there tell me how you do it bring it into the chat guys stay safe have fun get outdoors have your adventures okay enjoy yourselves get some fresh air this is mickey hampshire outdoors and survival love those you do forgive those you don't and as always peace and light be upon you all till next time mickey out